Thank you for your interest in applying to the Spokane Housing Authority waiting list. My name is Amanda Rollins. I'm the Administrative Services Manager for Spokane Housing Authority. To start, you'll be at myportal.spokanehousing.org and you'll click on Applicant Login if you're registered as an applicant. If you're already on our program or have recently been on our program, you'll need to go through the resident login. Go ahead and sign into your account. And you may receive this dashboard here and you'll click on apply to waiting list and continue your application. If you haven't filled out any parts of your application, it will start at the language selection screen. So you'll first select your language and click next. And the welcome page just is welcoming you to the online application and let's get started. So click next. Next, we will be collecting household information, including head of household, if there's a co-head of household or spouse, any other adults living in the household over the age of 18, children who live with you, live in attendance and foster or children or adults. So you'll get started by clicking next. You can see here, I've already added myself. Um, this is just a test account. But let's say I have additional household members. I'll add household member and put in their first name and last name, a date of birth, a social security number. If you don't know the social security number or they don't have a social security number at this point, you can put in all nines for that number. A gender is required. These are HUD defined genders. The relationship to the household. If the person is disabled or not. Their ethnicity. And all of these do need to be answered yes or no. Um, under race. And then back up here is a person, a United States citizen. Preferred language if it's other than English and any notes you want to include. Then you'll click save. You can see here then I have two people in the household. When I'm done with that, I will click next. I will add in my annual income. This is the annual income for all household members. Click next and then indicate if you have any special circumstances, if you're displaced, currently homeless, or if none of those apply. And additional details, we want to know if a person with a disability has been homeless for at least one year or four times totaling 12 months in the last three year period and then click Next. This is the waitlist preferences screen. When the Spokane waiting list is open, there will be several options to choose from. Just check which ones apply to you, then click Next. This is then the waiting list screen. On this screen, any waiting lists that are currently open will show. You can click the ones that you would like to apply to. Currently, this is the beloved sunset waiting list, but when the Spokane County waiting list is open, it will say Spokane County Housing Choice Voucher waiting list. Then click Next. At this screen, you can review and submit your information so you have a chance to review all of those things that you just completed. And if you need to make a correction, you can just click back in the menu area here to make those corrections. But if it is all looks good and you're ready to go, you can read the terms and conditions and then accept the above terms and conditions and click next. 
Once the application has processed, you will find an application progress of 100% and that your application was submitted. There will also be a change request number that is for reference only. Then you can log out or you can click on the little home page to go back and see your main screen, which will include this information where you can review your waiting list status, you can review your application or resubmit it for another waiting list when they're open, or you can contact us. For more questions or if you have issues with my portal, email us at myportal at spokanehousing.org or call us on our hotline at 509-252-7100 or 509-328-2953. Thank you.